Hello! We are so excited to be hosting today and to bring the news to you of what's happening in the Hive. Yes, uh, and we just wanted to say it's really an honor and a privilege to be your host for BNN this week. This is so exciting. It's so exciting, but have you really thought about why they asked mm. us to host? Have you thought about it? You know, I actually did think about that a lot, and I'm pretty sure I know why. Hmm. Uh, I think it's because uh, all the, the teachers here know I'm one of the loudest and most outgoing teachers at Bottenfield. You know? Yeah, yeah. That, that makes a lot of right, sense. Right. You definitely bring that excitement. I, I do. I yeah. do. Actually, most most every day. But I would agree with that. Do you know why they pick you? Hmm. You know that that is a really good question. I think really what it comes down to is I'm so calm right. and collected. And I right. think I really just make sure I'm super organized and so. I just think I'm the calm to your yeah. crazy. I wish I could be more like you. I wish I could be more like you. Thank you. Huh. Thank you. Um, but to be honest, we are pretty nervous. So what we did is we asked our students for a little advice. Uh, one question we asked was, what advice would you give me when I host BNN? And so one of my Zoom students, Lena, okay, I think she's okay with that. One of my Zoom students said, and I quote, you should do jokes like Mr. Keepus and Mr. McDaniel, right? Great idea. Yes. So I said, do you think they're funny? And while she nodded her head, yes, she privately chatted me and wrote, sometimes. So I just, that was a very mature, respectful wow. response. Social it? edit, yes. yeah. Teaching yes. that here at Bottenville. That's awesome. Did you ask your kids anything? I did. Okay. I did. I got some pretty great responses. One was can't pick your nose, right? So, yes. which is really hard to you mask should. anyway. Right. So, right. I think we've got that one covered, but I had one that's a little embarrassing. They said not to fart. Actually, one of my students, Lillian, she said, definitely do not fart. What? In oh my gosh. I'm so sorry. We're just are really you, nervous. Are you okay? Just I, so our stomach is so nervous. I think we just gotta keep going. <laughs> okay, keep going. Okay, keep going. Okay. All right, here we go. Um, we're gonna talk about celebrations. There are great. so many great things happening here at Botton Field, and we have. But first, oh, Mr. Keepus and Mr. McDaniel, yes. they are on assignment, and that's why they cannot be here. And I think wow. later in the episode, we will have another picture of them. Oh, good. Somewhere. Here. Some, uh, yeah, I don't okay. know where they are. Right. Do you? Now, celebrations. Celebrations. Right. Okay, yes. I was so excited. There are some amazing things happening here at the Hive. One thing that we talked about last week and this week was Epic. There are a lot of you reading on Epic, and I got a good school total. We've read almost 19,000 books on Epic. That is amazing. As a school. Isn't that awesome? I've read maybe four books in my life. I, so wow. that is fantastic. That's yeah. great as a teacher. Thank I'm you. Glad you have that. Okay. Thank you very I'm much. just really proud of you guys. That takes a lot of hard work and dedication. So way to go. Kindergarten. They're doing some pretty great things. They are super excited. They've learned all of their sight words. Amazing. <gasps> wow. You think they're ready for first grade for us? I would love to have all of them. Oh my gosh, yep. I can't wait. Way to go, kindergarten. They're starting on their last unit in math. We're starting to wrap things up, aren't we? Yes, we are. Way to go, kindergarten. All right, first grade, we're wrapping up math too. We're doing shapes and learning how you put shapes and 3D shapes together to build different things. It's pretty exciting and cool to see what you can build and the shapes that are all around right. you. Um, my class has not actually got to that, so I'm sorry, but we will get there, okay? And then we'll we'll celebrate. I'm, sorry. I'm just mm. a little behind. You're just too nervous. We're just too nervous. Yeah, okay. So. All right. Okay. Fourth grade. Uh, we actually have a fourth grade world changer, so let's check it out. The world changer of the week is Malala Yousafzai, a woman and children's rights activist. She is 23 years old and is born in Pakistan. In 2011, Malala was awarded the Nobel Peace Prize for her book "I Am Malala." When she is, when she was in school, she was injured 
for speaking up because girls weren't supposed to go to school. She stood up to the to, to, to Taliban. 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 Malala wrote a book under her fake name, Golmakai, about the Taliban. Taliban. Treated people, how Taliban treated people, the people. On her 16th birthday, she gave a speech to the United Nation. The United Nation named July 12th as World Malala Day of Malala's quotes is, when the world is silent, even one voice becomes powerful. To my class, this means no one speaks up. There is no possibility, possibility for, for change or no awkwardness. Thank you, Malala, for standing up for the rights of females. Wow, that was amazing. Hmm. All right, well, thank you, fourth grade, for that. Uh, we'll go yes. into fifth grade. Fifth grade artists are learning about how artists make statements through their work. They are brainstorming different topics that are important to them and creating art that makes a statement about one of their chosen topics. What kind of statement would you make? I'm calm and collected all the time. Mm. I think I'd have a lot of blues in my artwork. And wow, I, I thought I was gonna stump you, but that was actually a very good answer. We did you. not even rehearse that. Yep. Okay, <laughs> all right. Uh, we have a reminder from Mrs. Cash in the library. It is fast approaching that uh, this time of year when library books need to be returned. Uh, all library books need to be back by Friday, May 7th. Friday, May 7th. Oh man, do you know what's coming up? Are you excited? I don't, I don't know. I don't even know. What's Get excited. Happening. There's going to be an end of the year drive through parade. It's Yay. so much fun. Yeah. Oh, we're going to yes. have it again this year. And it will be like the one we had last year. And it will be held on Monday, May 24th from 5 to 6. And I bet you'll see some familiar faces there. So come on down. We'd love to see you and end the school year on a really high happy note with the parade. Finally, the staff, we are so grateful for our PTA. They are amazing. Yes, they are. They have They've done so many things for us this week. Yes, and this yep. year, it's yep. been such a different year and they have really done a lot for our kids and our staff. So we just wanted to say thank you. And- um, Oh, you know what they did do? What? Yes. Thank you. Bought and field strong. Thank you very much. Yes, we have had, we have worked so hard this year and you are much appreciated PTA. Thank you. All right, next up, an announcement about our next Fun Friday. Hi, Lawton Field. Miss Holloway here with our next Fun Friday. I'm filling in for Miss Giorgio. And she was given a letter from Bruce in Miss Cheatham's class. And he requested that our next Fun Friday be that we all dress up as our favorite Go Noodle character. Maybe that's Fabio. Maybe that's Cuckoo Kangaroo. I can't wait to see what you're going to dress up as. See ya. That is so exciting. It is. I love Go Noodle. Your favorite Go Noodle character. Who do you think you'll dress up as? Um, I think I should just dress up as a actual noodle. Like just a real spaghetti, elbow macaroni, roti. <laughs> I don't know, right? There's like just, I should just be a noodle. That is genius. So I don't know how, but let's we'll, work on we'll, that. Well, let's work on that. That is. Genius. Okay. I love it. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Next up, we have an attendance announcement from Miss Lydia. Buzz, buzz, Bottenfield. Welcome back for another rendition of the attendance awards. Awards. All right. Here we go. We have perfect attendance awards for April 26th through April 30th. We are doing the fancy little bee necklace with the dog tag, as well as your certificate achievement with your free kids meal from Texas Roadhouse. Without further ado, let's go. First grade, my online learner is Lena Goldparver from Mr. Park's class, and my in-person student is Belle Wilkin from Miss Davis's class. Nice job, first grade. All right, third grade, we have online learner, 
Annabelle Shanhart from Miss Herrig's class. Oh, we got another one from Miss Herrig's class in person. Nina Blyall. Nice job, girls, in third grade. All right, second grade. My online learning person from Miss Mackles Roy's room is Ritwick Basu. And then my in-person learner from Miss Cheatham's class is Jacoby Johnson. Nice job, guys, in second grade. Fifth grade online learner, I have Rania Marz Marzakwai. I'm sorry if I said your name wrong from Mr. McDaniel's room. And then in person, I have Tesla Barak from Mrs. Schmidt's room. Congratulations, fifth grade. Fourth grade, my online learner is Gia Whiteley from Miss Leach's class. And it looks like we've got another winner from Miss Leach's class in person, Noelle Icien. Last but not least, we're going all the way down to kindergarten. Online learner, Mr. Keepus, Isla Trout. And in person learner, Miss Clifton, Lucas Lowe. Congratulations, kindergarten. Congratulations, everybody, for winning the attendance awards. We do greatly appreciate you being on, being connected, and being seen. We look forward to seeing you next week. Buzz, buzz. That's amazing. That is amazing. Good job, winners. Way to be at school. All right, next is one of my favorites, Did You Know? with Miss Clifton and Miss Gow. Daniel. Hey, how are you? Good, how are you? It's been good. I've, uh, you know, just been doing some fun stuff. Me and Mr. Keep has been running around. I saw that. I heard you were on assignment. Yep. Can't wait to see where you were this week. Oh, it's crazy. Oh, it so is excited. crazy. But hey, have you seen Miss Clifton? No, I haven't. I'm, is she on assignment too? Probably. Pro you know what? Who knows? Can't wait to see where she's at either. Know. But since I'm here, yeah. And she's not. Can I do Did You Know with you? Of course. All right. I got one. No way. I do. Did you know that this Friday, May 14th, is Dance Like a Chicken Day? <gasps> I think that's Mr. Keepus' favorite day. I know. So, this Friday, May 14th, Zoom class at 1040. Everyone needs to dance like a chicken, all right? And then in the afternoon, all right, two o'clock, everybody needs to dance like a chicken. This Friday, May 14th. Can we see your sneak peek of your chicken dance? No. Oh man, Sorry. Wow, that's tough. Sorry, I pulled a hamstring. Oh wow, yeah, it's sorry. an intense chicken dance it you was. got there. It was. But did you know? No. There is a holiday today. 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 Right now. Right now. And I think some parents might like this holiday. Ooh. Yeah. Or grandparents or aunts or uncles. Ooh. Do you know why? Why? Today is National Clean Your Room Day. Oh, you guys are in so much in trouble. So, after class today, you have to go home and clean your room. Yeah, you have to, because it's National Clean Your Room Day. That means you have to, too. Oh. Uh oh. Okay. All right. Well, All right. Did you know? Did you? All right, now let's see what Mr. McDaniel and Mr. Keepis are up to, okay? Here is a picture they sent in of them. was disgusting. Wow. That. <laughs> oh man, okay. uh, they're all over the place. Wow. All right, let's cut to another video we have of Say What. Welcome to another episode of Say What. We have with us today the fifth grade team and some other helpers. Miss Schmidt, Miss Davis, Miss <laughs> Damler, Miss Johnson, and Miss Giorgio. Are you ready, Miss Schmidt? Here we go. Your sentence is Mr. Pope pulled a prank on people by putting purple paper in the copier. 
Mr. Pope pulled a prank on people by putting purple paper in the copier. Oh my gosh. Mr. Pope pops purple pimples for students. <laughs> <laughs> All right, turn yours off. <laughs> Wait, I shut mine off, right? Yes. Oh, no. It's... Wait. Okay. There you go. Oh my gosh, guys, I have no clue. <laughs> nope. Oh, nope, keep it on. Uh, All right, here we go. Bring your radio with you. <laughs> All right, Miss Johnson, now you go tell Mr. Keepus. Oh boy. So what did you what did you hear? So what did you hear? She said, Mr. Buff, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, so the sentence was, Mr. Pope pulled a prank on people by putting purple paper in the copy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> wow. Wow. Great job. I think those teachers need to get their hearing checked. I think so. What do you think? I think so. Uh, you know, BNN is big. It it's, is. It's really popular. Right. And it's starting to get so expensive that now we have to do two commercials this week. That's amazing. Can't wait to hear right. from our sponsors. All right, here we go. We're going to take it to Rankin's Roller Rink and Saturday Cafe. Are you bored of all of your board games? Feeling about ready to check out that old checker set? Top of the line push brooms. Yeah, this is how all the pros start. <laughs> if push brooms don't seem like the right first step for you, try one of our top of the line instructors. We're going backwards now. As you can see, they give a lot of positive reinforcement. And now we're going forwards. They'll help you get started until you're ready to take over. Please note all instructors at Rink and Turler Rink are highly trained. Please do not attempt with average pets. But if you're looking for a cool spring slash summer sport to get into, come on down to Rink and Turler Rink. Are you skating? Who knows? But you're having fun. Come on down to Rink and Turler Rink today. Are you skating? Ready? Yes. <laughs> Welcome back to Saturday Cafe. Our class was just discussing, now that it's getting warmer outside, we don't necessarily need hot chocolate with extra marshmallows, right? Yeah. yeah. What can we What can we do for spring in Saturday Cafe? Uh, let's Something see. people might like that's let's see. better for the warm weather. What do you think? Lemonade. Lemonade. Ice lemonade. Ice cold lemonade. Popsicles. Popsicles. Ooh, popsicles. What do you Ice think? Ice cream. Ice cream. What do you think? Ice cream. Ice cream? Watermelon popsicles. Watermelon Watermelon popsicles are one of my 
his favorite things. Yeah, you almost said that. You almost said that. Yeah, 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 yeah,